I always keep masks on my face for an extra 10 minutes. Well, that doesn't sound like it would hurt, does it? I mean, listen, everyone thinks that more is better, right. and that's not the case unless it's EVO. Ah, oh, thank you, honey. <laughs> but it's totally not the case because what happens to the skin mask? So there are different kinds of skin masks. There are clay masks, which you can see over here is like a thicker really substance. Really thick, right? And then there are sheet masks like this one. And the longer you leave them on your face, especially with a clay mask, it's supposed to draw out impurities from your skin. If you leave it on longer, it's also drawing out the goodness from your the skin. The moisture, right, right, exactly. right. Exactly, and so it's gonna disrupt the pH balance of your skin, wreaking havoc on your skin. Huh. Same thing with these sheet masks, because with time they dry out and they're gonna try to pick up moisture from your skin and the environment. So it's gonna leave you so even drier. So it really drier. isn't a good idea to it's leave the mask on extra 10 minutes. Now listen, if you can't help yourself and you're just like more, 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 right. I would say go for a biocellulose mask or a gel mask like right. this one, which is a little bit thicker and less permeable because this mask, after you apply your skincare, will help lock in everything and keep you hydrated longer, especially if you're like into the trend of doing a mask on the plane. Right. People are doing this on the plane now, oh thinking because it's Instagrammable, it's cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. But honestly, you can actually really mess up your skin. So if you're gonna do it on a plane, use the gel sheet. Use a gel sheet. So somebody said, I use makeup wipes because I'm too lazy to wash my face at I mean, I love washing my face. The second I, I get home, it makes me feel so I refreshed do too. and just it's the best thing. It wakes you up. A hundred percent. And listen, A for effort. Yeah. At least you thought of taking your makeup off and not dirtying your bed sheets. But honestly, makeup wipes are useless. Right. It's just a piece of cloth, which isn't biodegradable. So it's not helping the environment. And it's full of chemical irritants and exfoli and like detergents and preservatives. I mean, right. you should do this. I <laughs> Good. I really but feel true. like people don't understand that your skin is an organ. If you've at least thought about taking your makeup off, do the step further and really take it off. So I actually recorded my skincare routine um, to show you guys how I do it, and I'm happy to share that with sure, you. Sure, sure, let's see. First things first is hair up, because this is serious business. Cotton balls out and micellar water in. I like to use Bioderma's micellar water. We just start with this to remove any trace of makeup you have left at the end of the day. We then wash our face, and I like to wash thoroughly with this one by Vanna Cream, which is a gentle facial cleanser. So if you're somebody with a lot of allergies, this is probably a good one for you to try first because it's really not gonna irritate your skin. Not bad. We then move on to exfoliation. I really love glycolic acid because it also helps brighten and it has been proven to help stimulate collagen even. So this one is by L'Oreal Revitalift. Um, a couple of drops in my hand and then I massage it onto my whole face and I even extend down my neck. What I've noticed with patients is that they start here, kind of work down here and the older we get, we get down to, oh, I mean, we just get down. So then I go to a vitamin C serum. Drunk Elephant, when you put it on, it offers an instant glow. I then use a retinol after the vitamin C serum. I like this one by First Aid Beauty. This does help collagen production, and it helps with the fine lines that you start to develop as we get wiser in life. Once I've done with the washing of my face, exfoliation, and the serums, I then want to lock it in with a moisturizer. The Intensive Fortifying Emulsion, and it smells heavenly. A little bit goes a long way. And then I seal it in with a moisturizer. I really am liking this one by Tatcha, which is the dewy skin cream. It does remove your skin dewy. And finally, a little bit of an under eye cream. This one is by Ula Hendrickson. It is the Banana Bright Eye Cream with Vitamin C. And voila. 